Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we're looking at a Yamaha Cero uh, Trials 225 in absolutely immaculate condition. Uh, a lot of these bikes are kind of ridden off road and uh, are a bit tr trash. This one is absolutely mint, uh, as good as you're going to get it with only 6,000 kilometers on the clock. Uh, so visual inspection, front tire is absolutely perfect. And from Mudguard you have some little signs of the, the uh, uh, plastics fading and the sticker on the front here, but otherwise very, very good. Gators are good at the front here. Some slight signs of aging on the front forks. Disc is good with the original disc cover on it. Spokes are in really, really good condition. Exhaust is absolutely mint, as you can see, no rust at all. Uh, exhaust guard, engine side casings, and the plastics on the tank here. The front tank is very good. And there's the center. Seat is in immaculate condition. Really good. Plastics at the rear for the rear mud guard, very nice. And the actual exhaust muffler is lovely as well. Rear pillion pegs are original and there. Rear tire is okay. 1992 bike. Indicators and all working. The original toolkit is in there. Chain guard is good, chain is good. Probably we'll give it a lube up uh, before we go out on the drive along. And there's the left side engine casing, the original fuel dial, uh, which is nice to have. Little minor mark here on the tank. And here's the left hand side sticker. Really, really beautiful bike. Those to 6,000 kilometers, really, really nice. And uh, so that's it for the visual inspection. We'll move on now to the ride along. All right, we're out on the XT250, or 225, I should say, sorry. Oh, Jesus, come on. This is Fiesta here, slowing us down, but apart from that, all very nice on the bike here. As you can see, see she's riding lovely. Um, started up straight away, didn't even need the choke, uh, which was good to see. Only 6,900 kilometers on her. I'm going to try to keep these uh, these ones. I have a bunch of, um, what you call it, bikes to get through, and there's going to be a load of traffic. Um, oh, we might have actually just caught a... a bit of a crash there that's what can happen lads and ladies if you're not cautious but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep these relatively short because uh, I've about seven or eight bikes to get through before it gets dark here so uh, just gonna go up and down on her see how she feels and here we go look that's why fucking idiots like that just coming across it like but anyway we'll go through it I'll fix this mirror here. There we are. Turn right, the right indicator there. But uh, try to get down and past the traffic here. And this little thing. Yeah, she's riding absolutely lovely though. The throttle response is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really impressed. Ticks over nicely. Shouldn't be too long now at this light, but we'll skip past it now so you can get onto the straight here. All right, we're away. Goes through the gears, lovely. So we're in the final gear there now. But yeah, these Yamaha XT225s are very, very popular. Um, they're extremely hard to find in this kind of condition. It's, it's as good as you're gonna get. God, I have a whole pile of traffic here, but um, this is well known. There's a lot of people that will solely buy these to go off road, and that's a bit of green laning on the weekends. But as you can see, this bike is really, really lovely for uh, everyday riding out in the town. It's really easy to flick around, it's very light and nimble. And um, as you can see, getting in through there, she's got plenty of little poke on her to get past the traffic. As you can see, and if you wanted, you could put some fully or full road tires on her if you wanted to. If you weren't really thinking of ever going off road with her, okay. 
but as you can see she's going through she's not bogging down at any revs carved are lovely driving very very nicely i think i have a few bits and bobs to show you here maybe lights and stuff or i, I don't know i forget what i've even taken a few b-roll uh, clips of um, maybe the exhaust something like that but really good condition as you can see from the visual analysis and as you can see now as well very easy to nip through the traffic at this stage of the day friday where the traffic is a bit bedlam and i might have to wait behind this bus here unfortunately maybe not we just kind of go for it there's no one coming okay we're through here Sorry if I'm not talking a lot, it's a bit of concentration here, you don't want to get knocked down like that poor man on his ninja outside there. We seemed okay though, so that was, uh, that was the main thing. No one going to run out in front of me here, little schoolgirl. No. Checking my mirror. And we get through here, and then we get down to the lights, turn left, and we're on our way down back to Retro Bikes Dublin. Nip in here before this BMW. But as you can see, really lovely to get in and out of traffic, very light and nimble. The handlebars are actually quite narrow, surprisingly. Quite surprised with them. But um, seat height then, uh, while we're here, I'm six foot two. I can get my feet down very, very easily, so there's no real uh, uh, tariffs on the uh, seat height. I'd say they're very, you know, there's no, uh, there's no issues there, even if you're a smaller individual. But uh, yeah, we'll skip past these lights and get on to retro bikes with them. All right, on the last stretch now for retro bikes with them. But I kind of showed you everything that there is. She feels great, really nice little bike. It'd be hard to find to or hard sauce to get a a, a Sero as good as this one. Uh, we do have another one in stock as well. This one's going up before. I think it's a 1993 one. I think it has less kilometers, uh, 4,000 kilometers. It's a white and purple, I believe, which is a very rare color uh, in them. Really lovely, but this white and red color scheme goes great. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If there's any other questions, please just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them straight away. Um, as well as that, if you could leave a comment just on what you think of these bikes or what bikes you think we should get in, do leave a comment. Also like the video if you have liked it and it was helpful for you uh, on deciding what bike you want to buy. And uh, finally, subscribe if you haven't already.